going to set the pace and start the race this time out of turn number four. Once again, eight laps the distance, seven cars the field. Ward and Aguirre on the front row. WW Bodies sponsoring the 889 machine. Sean Ward, several wins out here in 2017 at South Texas Speedway. The green flag is out. We're underway with Pure Stock Heat Race number one. Ward with a great jump off the inside, leads the field down into turn number one. Aguirre in second spot. Bobby Jack looking to the outside of turn number two. He and Robert Danielson side by side down the back stretch. Danielson going to win the drag race for third. Here comes James Parks to split the difference. Picks up one spot, going to try to make it two or three. And going to get stuck on the outside of the racetrack. Ward leads lap one. Aguirre in second. Danielson third. Bobby Jack fourth. Side by side for fifth. It was James Parks and Jamie Deer. Nose to tail pretty much second, third, and fourth right now on the racetrack. Ooh, there's a little shot in the shorts going into turn number three. Danielson a little bit of a nudge. The 115 machine. Looking to the inside coming out of turn number four. Not going to be enough. It's still Ward out front. Aguirre in the second spot. Here comes Danielson on the inside. Once again, the Bandera Texas driver looks the inside of the turn number two. He'll take the spot down the back chute into three. Side by side again with Parks taking over the four spot from Bobby Jack in a dramatic fashion. Making a good run down the back chute to take over the four spot. Parks starting way back in this race. Actually started fifth. One spot out of that right now. Made his way up to fourth position. Sets his sights on the 115 of Hector Aguirre. Sean Ward still out front by about a straightaway over Danielson in the eight machine. It's side by side out of four for third. Give the nod to Parks at the start finish line. Aguirre back to fourth. Here comes Bobby Jack on the inside. The field starting to spread out around the racetrack. It's still Ward out front, almost a straightaway over second spot. Robert Danielson, then about another straightaway back to third spot. James Parks. Hector Aguirre sitting in fourth position right now. Bobby Jack rounds out the top five. Jamie Deer trying to make a move, get around and take over that fifth position. Out of turn number two. That's where the closest race on the racetrack is right now. That is for fifth spot. There goes Ward one more time under the start finish line. I believe that's three laps in the books. Still Danielson in second spot. Parks with a wild ride through turn number two. The car real snug to transition and then oversteering on the exit. Coming to the white flag. One lap to go for Sean Ward, who now has his hands full with Robert Danielson as the field goes into turn number one. Danielson with one more shot at it. We'll see what happens down the back stretch. Into turn number three. Sean Ward. Looking to strike early here in 2017 at South Texas Speedway. He'll do so with a heat race win. Heat race number one going to go to Sean Ward. Danielson will be second. Third will be James Parks. Fourth looks like it's going to be Hector Aguirre and Jamie Deer. Going to round out the top five. This is in the 747. Six cars. The field eight laps the distance, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, heat race number two for the Pure Stocks going green this time out of four. Joshua Sewell, Stefan Danielson, row one. The greens out, run away, and Danielson with a great jump off the outside, almost firing out of a cannon, leads the field in a turn number one. Danielson driving the 13 machine of Chris Workman tonight. Good to have Chris back at the racetrack. We're three wide at a turn number two with Walters on the bottom. Sewell in the middle, and it looks like the four machine of Kyle Carter Nearly losing it on the top side of the racetrack. A great save by the driver, the number four machine. We're three wide again in a turn number four. Zach Courtney going to sling it into turn number one, nearly getting into Hesslong on the 747. Everybody stays clean, and we're going to stay green. Danielson pretty much laying the keys on the front desk and checking out on the rest of the field in the 13K machine. Way out front of the 127 of Jerry Walters. Good battle for that third spot with Hesslong in the 747. And Joshua Sewell in the 38. Field coming through three and four one more time. It's still Danielson out front. Like I said, well ahead of Jerry Walters in the 127. A pass for third and a turn number four. It's Hessong taking over that third spot. Away from the 38 of Joshua Sewell. Zach Courtney normally driving an E-Mod here at South Texas Speedway. Stepping into a pure stock this weekend. Sitting right now in the fifth position. Walters 
with a little bit of a push on the exit of turn number four. Hessong has to slide up the racetrack to avoid contact. We enter turn number one once again. That's second and third on the racetrack. Nearly bumper to bumper through turns one and two. Jerry Walters, a lot of laps around this place. No stranger to South Texas Speedway. Holding down the runner-up position right now as Hessong takes a bad push through turn number three, slides way up the track. Here comes Sewell underneath. Courtney looks like he's going to get around. We were three wide there for a brief moment. Hessong losing two spots, slips back to fifth. And Stefan Danielson pretty much in his own zip code right now, way out in front of everybody. Down the front stretch, a good battle for second spot. That was nearly disastrous. It looks like trouble for the 38. Oh, right front flat for Joshua Sewell. Sewell gonna pull it into the infield. Tough break for the young man out of Kingsville, Texas, driving the 38 machine tonight. Should be the white flag in the air this time around. One more lap to go for Stefan Danielson. Jerry Walters slow into turn number three. Here comes the four machine of Kyle Carter to take over second spot as the white comes out. Problems for Hessong in the 747. A lot of smoke out of the red machine. One set of corners left to go for Stefan Danielson. Checker flag going to be in the air. He'll take the win in heat race number two for the Pure Stocks. A good showing for Chris Workman's machine. First time back on the racetrack. Good to have Chris here with us this evening. Kyle, one of your limited modifieds on the racetrack right now. Caleb Hudgens out of Robstown going to be on the pole in the 10 car alongside J.R. Owen in the 79 from Pocola, Oklahoma. Chuck Perry, Dustin Butcher, both out of Corpus Christi, going to be row number two. Tanner Whitmire and Chris Rye, row three. David Shuri, shotgun on the field in row number four. The green's out. We're into turn number one, and it looks like Hudgens going to lead the field through one and two. We've got problems. David Shuri around in the bottom of two. Shuri going to keep it going. I do believe we're going to stay green. Dustin Butcher had a hard time through turns one and two. Slips all the way back to sixth on the racetrack. Hudgens leads lap number one. J.R. Owen in second spot. Third spot right now is Tanner Whitmire. Whitmire taking the second spot away. Oh, and trouble for the 79 machine of Owen. Losing the handle on the 79 car out of turn number two. Still green with Hudgens in the top spot. It's Whitmire now second. Tanner Whitmire picking up the upset victory here at the South Texas Shootout. Back in November, picked up a $5,000 check that night. Looking to pick up right where he left off in 2017. We've got two cars around in turn number two. Two laps in, ladies and gentlemen, six to go. Caleb Hudgens going to lead him to it. The lights are out. The green flag going to be back out this time out of turn number four. Here we go. Heat race number one for the limited modifieds here at South Texas Speedway in support of the United States Modifying Touring Series back underway. Two laps complete, six laps to go. Caleb Hudgens once again leads the field through turns one and two. Here comes David Shuri picking off Owen in the 79 machine side by side down the back chute into three. Tanner Whitmire. Got a bead drawn on the 10 machine, sets his sights on Caleb Hudgens into turn number one. Hudgens by about a half a car, that time by at the stripe. A superior exit for the 101 machine. You can see the drive out of turn number two, down the back chute, into three. Hudgens going to lead lap number three. It's still Whitmire in second, Ryan third. David Shuri's up to fourth, Chuck Perry in fifth, and J.R. Owen rounding out the field in sixth. The field single file around the racetrack here at South Texas Speedway. Tanner Whitmire hard on the brakes coming into turn number three, trying to get the car to the bottom to get underneath the 10 car. Caleb Hudgens, though, right now, showing the way in the 10 machine here in heat race number one for the limited modifieds. Once again, single file around the racetrack. Out of turn number four, it's still Hudgens out front. Whitmire in second. Rye is third. There's some contact there, I think. Chuck Perry all out of shape on the bottom of the racetrack of the 115 machine. J.R. Owen unable to capitalize on the mistake. Should be the white flag in the air this time by. Yes, it is. One more lap to go for Caleb Hudgens. Tanner Whitmire still second. Then it's Chris Rye, David Shuri, Chuck Perry, and J.R. Owen rounding out the field. One more set of corners for your leader. Caleb Hudgens in the 10 machine out of Corpus Christi, excuse me, out of Robstown, Texas, going to take the win here in heat race number one. The limited modifieds at South Texas Speedway. Whitmire's in second. Chris Rye is third. 
David Sherry, for Chuck Perry, fifth, and J.R. Owen rounds out the field. Ladies and gentlemen, how about it? Bringing it home in third spot, Chris Ryan, the four S machine, four dollar sign, excuse me. Tanner Whitmire picking up the second spot, but taking the win. Mr. Caleb Hudgens in the 10 car out of Robstown, Texas, heat race number two. Going to be rolling out to the speedway here in just a moment. Here they are, ladies and gentlemen, starting on the pole. Row number three on the inside is going to have Ray Shalman in the 2R car alongside the 03, driven by Marcus Maklicek. 23 machine driven by Joel Garcia, going to start by himself in row number four. The green flag is out. We're underway. Limited modified heat race number two. And three wide out of turn two on the get-go, ladies and gentlemen. Shane Heffling on the bottom going to take the top spot into three. Side by side with Max Callis in the 148. Callis way up the racetrack. Smacks the wall in turn number three. Callis plowing like a dump truck into turn three. Could have been a lot worse as we complete lap number one. It's still Heffling out front. Brian Ryan second spot side by side for third. Down the back chute into three. It's Flanagan on the bottom alongside Marcus Smacklicek. Flanagan gets tight. Maklicek going to take the spot on the outside of the 03 machine. Flanagan back to fourth. Ray Shalman right now sitting in the fifth position. You can throw a blanket over two, over three, four, and five on the racetrack right now, folks. Good racing action here in heat race number two. The Myersville Rocket, Shane Heffling still out front right now in the 89C machine. Brian Ryan, second spot. Max Callis is around in turn number four. Down at the bottom of the racetrack, I do believe we're going to get a yellow. Yes, caution, going to come out. Caution, Ray Shulman sitting in fifth. Max Callis, after that spin in turn number four, going to start in sixth. Joel Garcia making an early exit off the speedway in the 23 machine. Looks like we're going to be getting the green flag this time out of turn number four. And Heffling leads him to it out of four. Good jump off the outside for Marcus Maklicek. Picks up second spot going into turn number one. Side by side for fourth. Ray Shalman getting around Hunter Flanagan on the restart. 58 cent back to fifth. Shalman now on the tail tank of the 184 machine coming into turn number three. It's going to be Heffling out front, though, leading one more lap. Maklicek in second. We're side by side for third. Shalman on the bottom. Makes the move into turn number one. Ray Shalman to the third spot. Brian Rye back to fourth. Max Callis has gotten around Hunter Flanagan. Flanagan back to sixth on the racetrack. Still Shane Heffling, your leader, coming through turn number four one more time. One more lap in the books here in heat race number two. Final heat race of the night here at South Texas Speedway. It's still Marcus Maklicek in second spot. Ray Shalman now drifting up about a lane off the bottom of the racetrack, looking to the outside, not enough, trying to get a good run down the back chute into three. Closes the gap a little bit on Maklicek and Hunter Flanagan making an exit. Off the racetrack out of turn number three, the 58C back to the pit area. Should be the white flag this time around. You can see it there in Kevin's hands. Going to be the white flag coming out for Shane Heffling, the Myersville Rocket, in the 89C machine tonight. One more lap to go in heat race action here at South Texas Speedway. Ladies and gentlemen, Marcus Maklicek in second spot. Ray Shalman third. Brian Rye fourth. And Max Callis rounding out the field in fifth. Pretty much single file around the racetrack. Everybody kind of spread out right now. And Callis loses the handle on the 148 machine. Checker flag going to be out. Heat race number two going to be in the books. It will go to showtime. Shane Heffling in the 89C. Marcus Maklicek in second spot. Ray Shalman is third. Brian Rye fourth. Max Callis going to round out the field in fifth. Ladies and gentlemen, that will conclude heat race action. I do believe we've got one. B main for the USMTS Modified is going to be coming up here in just a moment. And green this time out of four. Here comes the 38 of Joshua Sewell. We're going to give him one more this time, ladies and gentlemen. These late arrivals having to go to the tail of the field. The start time was set. The call was made. Once again, folks, all these late cars having to shuffle towards the back. That's the price you pay. You miss the curtain call, you get to start at the back. So Kyle Carter, Joshua Sewell, Bobby Jack going to be starting at the rear of the field. Green flag going to come out this time out of turn number four. It's Sean Ward and Stephen Danielson, your front row. Green is out. We're underway. A good jump off the front for Sean Ward into turn number one. 
Stefan Danielson going to slot into that second spot. Looking to the inside. A good crossover move out of the 13K machine down on the bottom of the racetrack. Side by side in the turn number three. It's Ward on the top. That's not necessarily the preferred line around South Texas Speedway. And Stefan Danielson leads lap number one. Jerry Walters looking to do the same thing. I got a feeling Ward about to get freight train. No, we're three wide through turn number two. Ward crosses over, finds some bit of real estate there. Looking to the bottom of turn number three. Danielson all the way up the racetrack. Going to lose one, two, three spots. Ward, Walters, and Parks get around the 13 machine. Ward leads lap number two, and Parks and Walters get together. Going into turn number one. Jerry Walters, unfortunately, now with a left rear flat tire. Going to have to take it off the speedway. And makes a hard right turn on our turn number three, James Parks. With the evidence, so to speak, on the right side of the race car. Sitting in the second position, now trying to take over the top spot from Sean Ward in the 889. It's Danielson in third, Jamie Deere in fourth spot, and Robert Danielson rounding out the top five. We got Chris Vincent around in turn number two. We're going to stay clean and stay green as the 46 machine gets pointed back in the right direction. The battle is up front, though. Sean Ward leading it right now down the back, shooting to turn number three. James Parks got a bead drawn on the back of that 889 car. The 33JP on the hunt right now in the Pure Stock main event. Putting a lap on Chris Vincent, and now it's just bumper tag all the way through turns one and two. Parks pushing Ward through the first set of corners that time around. Now Parks looks to the top side of the racetrack, slides way up towards the wall in turn four. Going to lose a lot of ground on that one. Danielson and Jamie Deer getting a good battle going on right now for fourth. That's Robert Danielson in the eight machine. The car very snug on the entry of turn number one, and Danielson loses about a car length and a half. Down the back chute into turn three. Stefan Danielson sitting in third spot. Jamie Deer fourth. Robert Danielson, your top five, and it's Carter around to the top of turn three. Kyle Carter loops the four machine, making an extra lap. He gets it pointed back in the right direction, and we'll stay clean and stay green. Sean Ward now opening up about a three-car length advantage on James Parks. Make it almost a half a straightaway now. Parks can't close the gap after that mistake at the top of turn number four. Trying to get a good run down the back, shoot into turn three. It's still Ward out front, Parks in second. Stefan Danielson is third. Jamie Deer fourth, and now Parks off the pace at the top of the racetrack. James Parks going to bring it to a stop at the entrance ramp in turn number four. The yellow flag going to come out for the 33JP. The car just coming to a stop. Green flag coming out. Oh, we've got problems right off the start. No green flag that time around. No green flag, no start that time around, ladies and gentlemen. Ward pacing them slowly down the back stretch into turn number three. Once again, the lights are out, folks. We're going to be going green flag racing this time in a turn number four, the 889. Several victories to his credit last year. Looking to strike first in 2018. We're back underway in the Pure Stock main event here in South Texas Speedway. Ward leads the field off into turn number one. Jamie Deere this time in second spot. Not as good a start for the 13 machine of Stephen Danielson. He's side by side with Robert Danielson down the back shoot into three. Side by side, and Stefan Danielson going to take over the third spot. Robert back to fourth. Now it's the battle between Joshua Sewell and Hector Aguirre. Sewell had a rough run through three and four that time around. Slips well back. Loses a lot of ground on the eight machine. Trying to get single file here through turns three and four. The only double file battle right now is for about seventh on the track between Bobby Jack and Kyle Carter in the Ford machine. Carter gonna lose that spot. And looks like Jerry Walters slicing and dicing through the field, but several laps down after leaving the racetrack on lap number two with a flat tire. Three wide at a turn number four with two cars that are on the lead lap. 
Carter and Jack still side by side out of turn number two. Carter wins the drag race into turn three. That's for sixth position on the racetrack. Make it seventh on the racetrack. Your leader, Sean Ward, laid the keys on the front desk and checking out on the rest of the field. He's well ahead of second spot, Jamie Deer. Third spot, Stefan Danielson looking at the bottom of turn number three. Looking to the inside, trying to take the runner up position. Not going to make it this time in a turn number four. Ward now comfortably out front. First time the car's been off the trailer, I believe, since the off season. Other than last night. So the second time the car's been off the trailer since the off season. Had some issues in practice last night. Looks like we got them all sussed out right now. Oh, we've got trouble in turn number one between your second and third place car. That was Stefan Danielson and Jamie Deer. Deer, unfortunately, with a short end of the stick, going around in turn number two. It's going to bring us another caution here in the Pure Stock main event. In the 38 machine, rounding out the top five, it's Hector Aguirre in the 115. Green flag is out. We're back underway. Ward with another great restart. Gets a good jump going into turn number one, and as does Robert Danielson, getting around Stefan on the outside. Good restart for the eight machine. Now in that second spot, Stefan Danielson back to third. Joshua Sewell, fourth. Good battle for fifth right now between Kyle Carter and Hector Aguirre. Carter on the bottom, takes the spot out of four, but not by much. Half a car at the line. And Aguirre slides up the racetrack, loses one, two, nearly four spots as we're three wide down the back chute. The white flag going to be in the air this time around. One more lap to go for the 889 of Sean Ward. Robert Danielson in second spot. Stefan Danielson third. Joshua Sewell in the fourth position. Kyle Carter rounds out the top five. Half a lap to go. Make it one set of turns now for your leader. The WW Body Sponsored Entry starting things off right in 2018. The win going to go to Sean Ward. Second spot going to be Robert Danielson. Then it's Stefan Danielson in third. Joshua Sewell and Kyle Carter going to round out the top five. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up. Lights are out. The green flag coming out this time in turn number four. We're underway. A good jump for Shawman off the bottom of turn four. He'll lead him into turn number one. Brian Ryan looks like he's going to settle into that second spot. David Shuri trying to tuck back down to the bottom of the racetrack. A little bit of contact there. We've got a big tangle up in turn number one. J.R. Owen and Dustin Butcher. Lights are out this time around, folks. We're going to be going green on turn number four. Once again, Shawman and Shuri. On the front row, Brian Rye, Caleb Hudgens, row number two. Hudgens with a couple of wins last year in 2017 here at South Texas Speedway. The green flag's back out, and we're back underway. Another good start off the inside of the front row for the Apollo Towing Service entry. Ray Shalman leads the field through turns one and two this time. I think everybody going to keep it squared away. We all make it through turn number one and turn number two. Shalman going to lead lap number one. Brian Ryan, second spot. Tanner Whitmire up to third. David Shuri is fourth. Caleb Hudgens rounds out the top five. Here comes Marcus Maklicek on the outside of the 03 machine. Lots of beating and banging going on towards the back of the pack. Max Callis and looks like the 89C of Shane Hepling getting together through turns one and two. Lap number two in the books. Back up front. It's still Ray Shalman out front. We got a good battle going on for second spot. Tanner Whitmire to the bottom of the racetrack underneath Brian Rye. Drag race down the back chute into turn three. Give the nod to Whitmire coming into turn three. Whitmire makes the move, takes the spot out of turn four. He's up to second. Rye back to third. Now Marcus Maklicek has made his way around David Shuri for the fourth spot. Shuri back to fifth. Caleb Hudgens is in sixth. Maklicek maybe taking the nose off a little bit. Shuri with probably a flat right front tire. We're gonna take the 38 machine back to the pit area. We stay green. Marcus Maklicek now into the fourth spot. Caleb Hudgens rounds out the top five. Shane Heffling struggling after winning a heat race earlier this evening. Towards the back of the pack of the 89C machine. 
Best battle on the track right now. The one shaping up for fourth. Actually, the battle is over. Caleb Hudgens has won. He makes the move out of turn four. Takes over the fourth spot down the front chute. Into turn one. It's still Ray Shalman out front. Tanner Whitmire, though, right there on the tail tank coming into turn number three. Maybe a car link separate the two. Shalman sideways on the exit. Whitmire keeping the 101 straight as an arrow. Whitmire, your last limited modified feature winner here in 2017. Looking to pick up right where he left off. Chase it down the 2R of Ray Shalman as we come into turn number three. Whitmire to the bottom of the racetrack, out of turn four. Side by side off the exit, it's gonna be Shalman with the momentum around the outside, but he knows that Whitmire's there. Ray trying to get to the bottom of the racetrack as quick as he can into turn one, out of turn two. Shalman with a much better exit that time off the first set of corners. Opens up about a car and a half over Whitmire as we cross the start finish line once again. It's Shalman, Whitmire, Brian Rye, Caleb Hudgens, and Marcus Mack will check your top five. Now Hudgens looking underneath Brian Rye at a turn number two. A good run down the back chute for the young man in the tin machine, the high school senior. Side by side with Brian Rye at a turn number four. Give the nod to Hudgens. Caleb up to third. Back up front, another good battle. Well, the same, the same good battle going on for the top spot. It's Shalman still out front. Second spot is Whitmire. Shalman very sideways off the exit that time, but it works for him off the bottom of turn four. Caleb Hudgens, quite possibly the fastest car on the racetrack right now, closing the gap on the front two. Whitmire with a good look to the inside of the turn number two down the back chute. Into three. Still Shalman about a lane, lane and a half off the bottom of the racetrack. And Whitmire with one of his best looks to the inside so far this evening, not good enough. Once again on the bottom with a great run out of turn two and Shulman gonna lose the lead. Whitmire takes the top spot down the back stretch. Tanner Whitmire, like I said, winning the South Texas shootout, the last limited modified race run here at South Texas Speedway was won by the 101 machine on a Taft Texas looking to pick up right where he left off in 2017. It's Shalman in second spot. Hudgens is closing that gap quickly, though, but laps are running out. Ticking away, we've got another tangle. In the bottom of turn two, it's Shane Heffling and Dustin Butcher getting together. Your leader is still Tanner Whitmire. He's starting to open up a gap on the field. Look at the 101 pulling away down the back stretch into turn number three. Ray Shalman in second spot. He's coming under fire from the young man in the tin machine. Caleb Hudgens now side by side out of four. A drag race down the front stretch this time into turn number one. J.R. Owen having some, having some trouble in turns one and two. Not going to affect anybody's run just yet. Owen going a lap down in the 79 machine. Shalman still hanging on to that runner-up position and the battle is shaping up to be a good one. Marcus Maklicek is inching ever closer to second and third spot right now. Hudgens trying to find the best way around the second place car. The 10 car definitely the faster of the two at the moment. Hudgens now looking to the outside, decides to think better of it, trying to come back down. He's got to play defense. It's a two front war going on in third spot. I don't know if Caleb Hudgens has ever played risk or not, but he's playing defense as well as offense. This gets a lucky break. Shalman with a big mistake in turn number two. White flag in the air this time by four year leader, Tanner Whitmire. In the 101 machine on Taft, Texas, it's Hudgens in second, Shalman is third, Maklicek in fourth, and Brian Rye rounds out the top five. One more set of corners for the 101 machine, entering turn number three for the final time. Coming out of turn number four, give the win to Mr. Tanner Whitmire in the 101 machine, getting it done here in 2018, night number one at South Texas Speedway. Hudgens in second, Maklicek gets around for third, Shalman in fourth, and Brian Rye rounds out the top five.